what is up you guys it's mr cruz the littest teacher you never had back with another video we're kind of doing this video a little differently gorilla style because we are working in band lab today um so i know a lot of you guys have been asking me about band lab and i want to get back to focusing on band lab um just because man you guys have asked so many good questions and i i'm capable i know the answers to them uh, i just haven't taken the time out to uh, make a video about it so today i'm going to be focusing on that so probably the next several videos are going to be focusing on on band lab um so one of the questions that i got is how do you get a midi controller right to communicate and hook it up to band lab so it's real simple here it is um so this is a midi controller midi controller does not play an instrument Right? There's no speakers on this. Um, all it does is it triggers notes. It triggers whatever instrument is plugged into um, or, or you have pulled up in BandLab. So all we're gonna do is, currently I have it disconnected. As you can kind of see, we are gonna connect it in a second. Oh, my bad. Um, and if you look over here, right, it says MIDI device, it says no MIDI device is connected. If I click that drop down arrow, it does nothing. So when I connect, it's already connected in the back. But I'm going to connect it here, it's somewhere around there. There we go. You should see it light up. All right. So the light lets me know that it is plugged in and turned on. And down here, it'll say MIDI device and PK Mini Mark II. Um, and now if I hit my keyboard, you should be able to hear a sound coming from band lab. Let me make sure I just turn this on. So crazy. Even the pads will work. Boom. So there you go. That's all you got to do. The only thing is you have to make sure that you're selecting uh, an instrument. It's not going to work on drum machine. Or I said it, it will work on drum machine to trigger the notes, but you won't be able to record notes on drum machine. Uh, it'll only work on, on instrument when you select the instrument as, um, as your patch. Anyways, there you go. Hopefully that is super useful to you guys. If, if the chance have, if by chance you connect it, um, and it doesn't connect automatically, just hit this drop down arrow and then something should show up here, uh, whatever MIDI controller you have. Usually the really popular ones, this one's a pretty popular one, uh, it shows up automatically. Some of the more generic brands might not show up, so you'll have to click the drop down arrow and do that. It's your boy Mr. Cruz, out.